Hey, what's up everybody? Greg Gray here with Outdoor Solutions Long Range Shooting Schools. We are not in Texas. We are actually in my home state of Oklahoma. We're at a public range. You might hear a little bit of shooting going on in the background, but that's what we're here for, right? So we wanted to bring you all another quick tip. This one is going to be on hand position. So whenever we're teaching our classes, um, whenever we start getting into our dry fire drills, one of the first things that we run into is how people are gripping the gun. So before we get into that, and I'll show you what we teach in our classes. There's obviously a lot of different style of rifles out there. We're primarily dealing with hunting rifles, but even in hunting rifles, there are still a lot of different styles. So this first one that I have here is the Springfield Waypoint. And as you can see on the wrist of the gun, it has a, a very dramatic curve to it. So it's almost a 90 degree. So the, the grip on it feels a little bit different than what a traditional uh, hunting rifle feels like. I really like this one. It actually feels good. It's a good natural fit. Uh, one of the things that we always suggest whenever you're looking to go buy a new rifle, go to you know whatever your local sporting goods store is and shoulder quite a few different rifles, different styles, and see what feels good to you. Uh, another option that is probably more common that you'll see out there, more of a traditional style hunting rifle. This is the Benelli Lupo. And as you can see, right away, it doesn't have that dramatic drop to it. It's more of a soft angle. Most of the hunting rifles that you're going to run into out there uh, are going to be styled like this one. So that's why we're going to show you this one for the purpose of uh, hand positions uh, whenever shooting. So whenever we, uh, whenever we got our, have our classes going and we start doing our dry fire drills, pretty much everybody does the exact same thing, myself included, because this is how I was taught as a kid. My first firearm was a single shot 20 gauge shotgun that my dad gave to me, handed down from his dad. And he told me, grip that sucker and hang on. And so that's what I did at eight years old, which was probably good advice for a shotgun because I wasn't very big and I needed to hang on so I didn't get uh, knocked on my butt. But whenever we're talking about a precision rifle, you pretty much want to do the 180 of that. So here's what we teach in the class. Instead of doing the, the Gorilla Grip and, and, and white knuckling it, we won't have you do something a little bit different. And actually, I'll back up here. The reason we don't want you to, to do a full grip, you're putting a lot of energy into the gun. The more energy that you put in the gun, the more inconsistent that you're going to be and the more likelihood of not getting good tight groups or possibly even a miss on a, uh, on a wild game animal. So here's, here's what we have you do in class is whenever they come in and they, they get a good full grip like this, you can see right here how my, my wrist is canned a little bit. It's not in a straight line. So there's a very simple fix of that. We have you take these three fingers. They just go around the wrist of the gun. And instead of folding my thumb over, I'm now bringing it straight in line. So now you can see I have a nice straight line here with my thumb and my wrist. Now when we get to my index finger, I go inside the trigger guard everything is in a really nice straight line. So what that prevents me from doing, if I have that full grip, I and mean, I go back to that angle, guess what I'm more than likely going to do? I'm going to pull the trigger at an angle. You start pulling at an angle, most right-handed shooters are going to either pull, or go, actually whenever they pull, their um, muzzle is going to go to the left and most of your shots are going to be to the left and it'll be the opposite for a uh, left-handed shooter. So. To fix that, to counter that, we just put our thumb in a line. Now my finger's in a straight line, and now I can start applying pressure to the trigger and squeeze straight back, pull straight back. There's a lot of different terminology. I like the, the analogy of just applying pressure to the trigger, which we'll get more into that in our next video, which is uh, proper trigger squeeze. But next time that you go to the range, give that a try. Again, just use uh, these three fingers, and you're just applying light but firm pressure. You're not white knuckling it, but you're hang, hanging, on, uh, hanging on to the gun. Pull that thumb around to the side, and then you're ready for a nice, easy trigger squeeze. For our next video, you guys stay tuned for it. We will get into trigger control and the proper way uh, to address that. We'll see you guys on the next video.